Whether you're bulking, cutting, or maintaining your physique, you're gonna need protein. Protein is the most essential macro when it comes to like anything fitness. With inflation and the overall raising of prices on groceries, it can definitely be hard to fit good protein foods into your budget. And now that it's summer, a lot of people are getting into working out and they may not be as knowledgeable upon good proteins. So today, I'm gonna go over some protein cheat codes, as I like to call them, to hopefully help you make a good choice and make sure you're not wasting your money. Before we get into it though, I want to thank each and every one of you for the support across my social media platforms. We're almost at 1500 on TikTok and one of my reels on Instagram just got like 70k views. Y'all are insane. Wait, but do y'all know how much 1500 people is? Put 1500 people in a room. That's a ton of people. So thank you to everyone again who has supported me thus far. It means a lot to me, truly. Alright, now let's get into it. So basically, I'm just going to go through a list of great foods to easily hit your protein target. Starting off with the OG in the game, the essential chicken breast. Or any type of chicken at that. You can never go wrong with these, that's why it's like the number one choice for many people. For about 4 ounces, it's 110 calories, 24 grams of protein. Come on now. Hey, and you better be seasoning when you eat these. Now while this is an amazing food, eating it over and over again can get like really tiring and annoying. But that's why you need variety in your proteins. So next up, ground beef. While this can be a little more expensive than chicken breast, I personally like ground beef more as I think it tastes better. And when you season these right, peak. This is also a bit more calories than chicken, coming in around 170 calories per four ounces, 23 grams of protein for 93.7 ground beef. You can also change the fat to lean ratio depending on your fitness goals at the moment. So if you're bulking, you're probably gonna wanna go with the higher fat ratio, like 80-20 for the extra calories. And if you're cutting, you're most likely gonna wanna go as lean as possible. Now, similar to ground beef, we have ground turkey, which is actually less expensive and more protein for less calories. The downside for me though, is that it just tastes a bit worse, but it's still good. And honestly, you can season this to taste pretty similar to ground beef. Ground turkey comes in at 140 calories and 26 grams of protein per four ounces for 99% fat-free ground turkey. And then same as ground beef, you can change the fat to lean ratio depending on your fitness goals at the moment. All right, now moving from the meats and poultry, we have eggs and egg whites. Really quick though, I feel like some people genuinely don't know that you can get a good amount of protein from things that aren't chicken, beef, etc. like eggs and egg whites. And I put these together because they're pretty much one and the same, one just doesn't have yolk. For one whole egg, you get about 7 grams of protein for 70 calories, and for a serving of egg whites, you get about 5 grams of protein for 25 calories. So as you can probably tell, egg whites are much more protein dense than whole eggs. I think these are a great protein source for both bulking and cutting, though if you're cutting, you're probably going to want to opt for these over whole eggs because of that calorie difference. I know many people argue that egg whites taste like straight garbage. And they probably do because you ain't seasoning them things. Season your eggs, bro. Come on. Throw a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, parsley, salt, pepper, and you all good. Another non-meat and a heavily underrated source of protein are shredded cheeses. Shredded cheddar, mozzarella, etc. each have like 6 to 9 grams of protein per serving size. And if you get reduced or fat-free cheese, it'll be less calories for the same amount of protein. You can throw a serving of cheese on pretty much anything for some easy extra protein. Your eggs, your chicken, your beef, anything. I'm also going to include Greek yogurt in here too. Plain Greek is like 100 calories for 17 grams of protein a serving and you can easily substitute it for sour cream. Or you could get flavored Greek yogurt for a little bit less protein, but hey, at least you can eat it by yourself then. Now if you can, I recommend purchasing some form of protein powder. It can get a bit expensive, but it's such an easy way to get quick protein in, especially if you don't feel like cooking or prepping anything. Just put you a scoop of protein powder in a bottle with water, milk, or whatever you'd like, and that's 24 to 30 grams of protein. Easy. Or you go opt for a pre-made protein drink, such as the Fairlife milk drinks or something like that. These are definitely going to be on the more expensive side though. Speaking of, I got one right here. 150 calories, 30 grams of protein, quick and easy protein. You can down this in like under a minute. Quick tip, a good protein target for anyone is about 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight which is about 1.6 to 2 grams for you metrics out there. Now, I recommend consuming within those ranges because if you consume a ton of protein on one day, your body will use all it can and then just end up throwing the excess out. You know, honestly, choosing foods that you actually enjoy that also provide you with nutritional benefits such as protein make hitting any nutrition target so much easier. All right, I hope I could provide you with a bit more knowledge upon protein choices. Again, to make sure you're not wasting your money. Hey, stay tuned for the routine video coming soon. I've been putting it off a little bit, but I promise it will be out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I hope I could help and I'll see you in the next one.